Hey, welcome to my whiskey den. I'm here with uh, Patrick the Rambler over here. You got That's Mike right. down in Kansas City. And today we are reviewing uh, the Rua American Single Malt Port Cask Finish from Grand Wagon Road Distilling. So. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just was on the impact on you guys already. <laughs> yeah, man, the nose on this is nuts. Yes. Yeah, it, it, the yes. port is clearly involved. Like, there's no yes. mistaking that. <laughs> if you Google uh, whiskey port bomb, you're going to see a picture of this Rua right here because that's exactly what it is. It's, it's a port lover's wet dream, basically. This is. It is. I mean, you're getting, besides the port, like, un, hidden beneath the port. You know what I mean? It is a little the, bit. The, the, the deliciousness of the Rua. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. you're getting the bready note yeah. mm -hmm. with a little bit of icing, apple, cinnamon. But like, but like you took that bear claw, that's Rua, with the, the, the apple bear claws, and you just took a <clears throat> bottle of port and just dumped it over the top of it. <laughs> and like, let it, and, and let it soak in like a little pan yeah. for a second and let it soak in there and then took, take a knife and cut it out and then ate it. Cause that, man. We're, you're, you're you're dipping you're dipping the bear claw yeah. into your port wine like someone who's been sheltered at home for two months with their kids. <laughs> you're just like, this is breakfast right here. <laughs> just, just dipping Th it in there. This is my before school. This is my before school uh, little little donut I'm yeah. having today. Yeah. If you couldn't tell, we're already huge fans of Rua. So <laughs> going in the port yeah. finish, and uh, it's a freaking amazing whiskey. It's, this, this just reminds me of, you know, as much as, as Aberlauer Abuna is my, it's my yes. favorite sherry bomb. Yeah. This is, this is the, the port American Aberlauer Abuna. It's just, it is a bomb. I cannot think of another port that is this just like. No. Like just dropping it in like napalm across the, the fucking bear claw. It, yeah. It's in there, man. It's not violent. It's just, no, it's, it's not, it, but it's, it's just it's, great. It's dominant. You know, like yes. it's it's the dominant smell uh, on the nose. Like as you're coming up from here, you're getting. I'm am yeah. I drinking wine? And <laughs> so then you get. The, go ahead. From oh, from so from what we know of it, this is this is Rua. Nothing different on Rua, but then they put it in port barrels for. I'm not sure what time. I guess I should look at the at the label again, but I don't think it actually said. Oh, you both have the labels, you jackasses. Yeah, oh, because yeah. we have the bottle. <laughs> yeah, they both yeah. have the bottle. And I this time I'm stuck with this little but it tiny is little it's sample. 50, 58 58.5% ABV. Oh, they went cast ABV, strength. The ABV doesn't smack you, the port does. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, yeah. they don't but tell yeah, you how long. No, it, it just says same as Rua, water, barley, and yeast, their only ingredients, and then they finish it in the barrels. Right. That's what I was going to say. They they started off in their 25-gallon oak barrels that they use, the number three char oak barrels, um, and then they transfer it to port wine cast for 21 months. They don't tell you how long it was in the uh, the new oak, which, honestly, I would think not very long. It seems like it spent mo most of its life in the port barrels. Yeah, because this, this this it looks like port. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean it doesn't. Yeah. This doesn't look like whiskey. This is this is port. Like there's a little bit of amber to that, but there is some red, deep red color. It reminds me yes. of all color wise. It reminds me of like oh, a Texas man. whiskey, where you're getting some really dark, changing colors in just a couple years. And it's got that wonderful to me. What one of the things I love about a good port that funky basement, just uh, yes. dank smell to it that's it's just rich i mean yeah it's not just sweet fruit but you got that kind of no. funky element to it yeah definitely yes. you you do have that like damp basement and i part of me for a second when i was sniffing it before it was getting it's it, it just like a hint of like like dirty old like dry smoke like the smoke after you light like a fourth of july tank and it all blows up 
right? And like 30 seconds later, you get like just a little bit of like a little bit different smell in it, but it's just there for like a hint. Right? Yeah. It's like, a, yeah, you're getting this out of the winery as God intended, but the yeah. nose on it, it's, it's so rich, but it, it is as much, you know, Rua with the, with the, the iced, iced bear claw, but this just has the, it has the fruit, the fruit nose with it, but it's just, I keep thinking the one word. This it's just decadent. It is. It's like I, I'm. It's like if this was a food, you're you're gonna want to eat a lot of it, and you're gonna get sick. Yeah. <laughs> because it's just so <laughs> so rich and that, full, and you and you shouldn't have that much of it. Yeah, and just but, on the nose, that's what I was gonna yeah. say. Like it's a rich nose. Like it's something. Oh like, man. It it's like a like a dessert you're having around Christmas, where it's like, oh, would you yeah. like seconds? You're like, I would, but I'm yeah. gonna have. You know, I'm a diabetic, so, you know, like, I, I shouldn't be having the second one. But at the same time, like, you wait an hour and you see the person, like, reaching back on the plate, like. Yeah. You know, it's, and, a, it's a wafer-thin dessert. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to jump into it. But the, yeah. nose you could, the nose you can sniff for a long time, especially if you're mm -hmm. a port lover. You could just, you could drown mm. in there. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're gonna need some alone time. Pardon yeah. the silence of the video. <laughs> I just hit like I just hit the section mm. where it's like almost a Ferrari whiskey, where I was like, oh. like sitting back yeah. and like, like everything that just happened. <clears throat> dude, there was so much shit that was going on. Yes. That it is overwhelming for the senses for a minute. Like the port, the port in itself. Once again, overwhelming port. Not, not like the alcohol bit of it, or like it's too high. I totally don't believe this is fifty-eight percent. I would guess forty-five at, at best, forty-five on this because it has a little bit of alcohol heat to it, but not, not fifty-eight. And that, the port is the on nose the is, Yeah, the nose God. is so thick. Yeah, it's it's it, hard to get through that that on the nose, but man, on the palate, that is just. Yeah, the interesting comparison to me, the intensity of how this comes across, it's like Octomore. Octomore has that kind of flavor rich intensity, but you know, yeah. obviously not dealing with the smoke, you're not dealing with the peat, but it's just got so much richness, so much intensity going on, mm. and it's the only other thing I could I've had that compares would be an Octomore. Yeah. And it goes like sweet fruit, uh, like the sweet mm. the fruit to like a little bit of a bitter note on the end. The barrel starts coming in. You're getting some of the breadiness, but a lot of the a lot of the rule of flavors are right up front on the tongue, and then the yes. port, the port mm. takes over. Same as the nose. I almost had this weird, and this be, you know, breathing it in is different. But like when I was breathing it in as I was coming up to drink it, I was what I was smelling was what I immediately tasted in the glass. Like it just like poured right in, and that was almost exactly the same thing. That freaked me out, you know. Like there's some that are night and day, or left and right yeah. of each other. No. This was like, oh, it's coming in. Oh, it tastes fucking exactly like it. This is. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try to get some better notes on this, just because what, it, what you it get ran... on the nose is going to be what you get on the palate, pretty much. Yeah, yes. I mean, it translates directly. But it is, it is nice. It is richly complex, man. Like, it is, yeah. This if I, mean, if I ha had this for like Christmas, this would be this would be an excellent Christmas whiskey. Oh, yeah. absolutely! Like this this now just is on the on the mark where Redbreast Twelve or Cast Strength is like for Christmas whiskey for me. Yeah, finish that this big is, Christmas dinner, get you a nice little copita, and pour you a glass of this, and sit by the fire and uh, enjoy the tree. Yeah. You know. Just yeah, a little bit of extra heat coming from outside. You can't feel this one building on the inside, but it's it's in there. Wow. The anticipation of drinking this is almost as good as drinking it itself. Because <laughs> because you, you've had it and you're like, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. I I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. And then like I am not disappointed. This is fantastic. And yeah, I'll go. Ahead. Don't even try to have another whiskey after you've had this because your palate is no. going to be blown. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't want to taste the rest of the. I night. think you really hit that with that Octomore comparison, yeah. where it's you, it. This has set the tone and it's in there, and the port is sticking around and it's rich and it's 
just a hint of like all those other lovely, like kind of the bready note, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of apple hidden underneath it are still clinging around on the tongue. But it, holy shit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Grand Wagon <laughs> Road. Um, <laughs> holy crap. Um, if people Each were. Each bottle should come with a change of pants. <laughs> yeah. It, it, this, it, I, and we got this, you guys both got this from Sealbox, right? Yeah. Okay, because yeah. I think it was they're sold out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As of mid May 2020, they are sold out again. Well, I mean, like I, I figured there wasn't gonna be too many bottles mm-hmm. in the first place, even up at the distillery. So I think getting them out that way was great. But I mean, this is this, like you said, this is this is the portiest whiskey I have ever had. Yeah, mm-hmm. like hands down, not even close. <laughs> But not it's not obnoxious. No, it's, it's not, not obnoxious. obnoxious. And yeah, it's not like too much or anything. It's just it is it is a port bomb. Oh, but it's, but it's, I think you nailed it, Patty. You talk you called it like the Ferrari of whiskeys. Like you're thrown back in your seat, everything is accelerating yes. by. And that was my first experience with the Octomore. It was like there was so many notes whizzing by so fast. It's like I couldn't yeah. pull out individual, it was hard grabbing individual notes because there's so much going on. And it's kind of the same way with this. It's so rich. It's so intense. There's so much going on. Yeah, I can tell you there's the the grapey port, you know, the grapey notes from the port. There's a few fruit notes. So there's a little bit of a candied walnut. But, I mean, there's still so much going on. You, you've got to really yeah. spend time. I'm almost getting like a black cherry in it, too. Yes, yes. Or like a cherry black in cherry in there as well, too, kind of hidden underneath. Where, oh, my balls. Yeah, this is. And, and there's almost this kind of a, a mold wine note on the end of it. You get that kind of cinnamon and clove type spice, like you said, Christmas kind of spice for me, right, right on the start of the finish. Um, All right, and and I feel like with a peated whiskey, I feel like I'm just now. I almost felt like I was breathing poured out my nose. <laughs> you know, like as I was breathing, like this, it's still it's like rolling around in there, like with yeah. when I first had Talisker Storm. You know, I could feel that like you'd breathe out. It's like you felt like, whoa, I've been by a campfire or I'm a dragon, you know, like whatever, whatever you've been doing that day. Um, <laughs> but this, this is, yeah. It permeates your skin. It really, it gets in there and is as, as good as, as Rua is. It's like, what could make Rua better? <laughs> like, well, well, this, and, this, they, uh, and, I, and I think they're two different beasts, man. Like these, those. Rue is just so are, much... but, you, but you can you can tell it's DNA. I mean, you can you yes. can tell. Yeah, you, you can Rua, see it's like, hinted underneath. Like it's it's there. It's like what because Rue is like you know as we thought the perfect proof. It's a very nice, wonderful layered whiskey. Yeah, really at the perfect proof. But this at that higher proof with that port finish, it's like, well, you did. You made it better, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and good job. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll hopefully get these guys on. Because we're going to be reviewing, they they have a sherry finish. Mm. You guys have as well too, or Mike has yes. the sherry Mike finish. Mike has the sherry finish. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we'll be we'll be seeing if that one as much as a, is as much a bomb as this one is. Um, Spoiler alert: No, but that's not a bad thing. Okay. Well, no, because I'm like that. I mean, I I would I would have been afraid if they both would have been bombs. I really I would have. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Just. But I mean, if you port wine, this is the whiskey yeah. for you. Like there is yeah. no hands down. Like the only problem is, is you're used to wine where it's, you know, maybe 12, 18%. This is, this, you're going to drink this at the same pace and it's going to, it's going to creep up on you by glass number three, um, which, which I would be afraid of, but I mean, wow. Um, yeah, yeah. Th- this is, this is an experience. It's, it's one of the, it's another one of those ones that, where we've had some really good ones, we had some really good ones. We kind of hit a couple that weren't when we started building back up to some stuff that's been really nice. This is a this is a surprise. This this is going to yeah. probably be one of those ones that for me is going to be where Rua was like the surprise whiskey of the year. This one might make like a top top five for me, even yeah. though there's yeah. how much of these how much of the year left. This one's pretty pretty damn tasty. Yeah, this is fun just to smell the glass. Yeah, this is you'll want to leave it out once you finish this. You want oh. to leave the glass out overnight to come oh, back to it in the morning. That, I was, can you imagine doing that? Pouring it, just have about that much and leave it in your glass. Like, don't touch it. Leave it out all night and see what it's like the next day. <laughs> no, that would that would be insane. <laughs> but uh, but very good. Great wagon rolled. Uh, fantastic. 
fantastic stuff. Yeah. Just uh, anyone who's out there, like you said, it's it's sold out. But like uh, we said in a different one, just recent review recently, if you can call them up and lean on them and be like, when in the yeah. hell are you getting the next batch of this out? Because um, it's worth paying for the bottle. Like uh, there's not a lot of yeah. them. I will usually tell you that this is one that was that would be worth the money for it. And I, it was yeah under a hundred bucks for a three seven five, or was this the the 40, 40 bucks for a three seven five? Yeah. At, think... at fifty eight point five percent. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I don't think there's any way you yeah. can go wrong at, at that price no. for what you're getting here because if you just yeah. think you're doubling it for for eighty dollars, this is. Oh, it's, I would it's put. I would if I was looking scotch wise, which I think I can, you know, single mold. I, I would put this in the eighty to hundred dollar range without the blink yeah. of an eye. Right. Um, I'd say you're oh, coming yeah. out ahead. I mean, and, and the scotch would be at forty six percent. Yeah. 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 So, well, um, yeah, we've we've sang the praises of this enough, um, but but it's well deserved. Um, yeah. You guys did a, an excellent job of, of adding on to it. So um, check out the original review of Great Wagon Road, and like I said, we're gonna we're gonna be working to get them on because their story is one that's worth. I mean, when you're making something this good, that's this young, I think everyone should get a chance to hear about it because this is this yes. is pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, so from our dent to yours, remember it's not the size of the dent that matters; it's the love of whiskey. Everyone, cheers! 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 Let's get into it. One, two, three.